So last week we were doing addition of like fractions where the denominators are same. So let's have a look at what we did last week. Okay? So we have a fraction 2 1 upon 4 plus 1 1 upon 4. Over here you see that the denominator are, denominators are same. So what should we do? Convert. 2 4 is 8 plus 1. 9 upon 4 plus 4 1 is 4 plus 1. 5 upon 4. Now when the denominators are same, we add straight away. So 9 plus 5. 14 upon 4. You can reduce or you can divide. But in class 5, I haven't taught reduce because there will be a lot to do in one sum. So you may get what distracted or you may feel that reducing is something different and you may be puzzled. So we go to the rough column. So we are not going to do reducing. This year, maybe next year, 4 3s are 12 and 2. So, what is the answer? We get 3, 2 upon 4. But some of you, if you know how to reduce, you can reduce here or it can be reduced here. Let's reduce 2 1 the 2, 2 2 is 4. So, we get 3 1 upon 2. So the sums we did in class 3 and class 4 were similar to these where the numerator, the denominators are same. When the denominators are same, we don't have to find LCM. Now you see another sum there. It looks simple, but we have to do a lot more than what we are doing here. Over here you see the denominators are same. Here you see denominators are different. Okay, and when we have to add, we have to come to a common number. Else, so to do that, we have to find the LCM of this denominator. Now, whichever sum we are doing, we have to find LCM. And to find LCM, we have already done that. So, what we do is we find the LCM of 3 and 4. So put both the numbers together, 3 1 is 3, 3 is equal to 4, bring down 4, 2 goes into 4, 2 is 2 is and 2 1 is So 2 into 2 into 3. So we have found the LCM of 3 and 4. 2 2 is 4, 4 3 is 12. Okay? Do you remember to find LCM? Yes. So, now we have found the LCM of these two fractions. We have to come to a common fraction so that these two fractions can be added. So, what we do? We draw a line. We write 12 in the middle. Now, we are going to do a little short way. We are going to do 3 2s are 12 into 1 plus 4 3s are 12 into 3. Let's cut off one step, okay? A quicker way. So we put our fingers on 3. 3 goes into 12 how many times? 3, 4. Let's put that 4 on top. 3, 4 is 12. 4 goes into 12 3 times. Okay? 4, 3 is 12. 3, 4 is 12. Now we have to multiply these two. We have to multiply the numerator with this number. So 1, 4 is 4 plus 3, 3 is 9. Got it? Okay, again. When we do it for the first time, all everything seems to be puzzling. So let's do that again. 3 goes into 12. How many times? 3, 4 is 12. 4 goes into 12. How many times? 4, 3 is that. Now we multiply this. 4 ones are 4 plus 3, 3 is 9. Now, just as we added this 9 plus 5, let's add 4 plus 9. 13 upon 12. Now here we see that the numerator is bigger. It's an improper fraction. So if you, whenever you see an improper fraction, it must be converted back into a mixed number. So 13 divided by 12. 12 ones are 12. 3 minus 2. 
1. So you get the answer 1, 1 upon 12. Or for those of you who can do mentally, 12 goes into 30 number times. 1 to 12, 1 to 12 plus 1, 30. So 12, 1 to 12 plus 1, 30. I hope you have understood. Now, to understand, in class I do a lot of sums. So, for the sums that we are doing, these are completely new sums. The denominators are different. So, when the denominators are different, we have to find the what? LCM. Okay? Then only we can add. Whenever you see the denominators are same, it's a like fraction. Whenever you see the denominators are different, it's an unlike fraction. And you have to find the LCM. So I have written three sums. So are we ready? Three different sums. So this is the rough work. Remember to make a rough work in your exercise book. So we have to add 5 upon 6 plus 1 upon 3. So whenever you see, you cannot add 5 plus 1, 6, and 6 plus 3, 9. No. It cannot be done that way. These are two different fractions, so they need to be a common number. And to find that common number, we have to find the LCM of 6 and 3. Let's put the smaller number, 3, 6. 3 goes into 3, 1, 10. 3 goes into 6, 2, 10. Do we have 12 or 1 and 2? Very good, 1 and 2, 2, 1, three. So the LCM of 3 and 6 equals 2, 3 is 6. So after you find the LCM, draw a line, write 6 in the middle. 6 goes into 6, 110, 6, 1 is 6, 3 goes into 6, 100, 3, 2 is 6. Again, 3, 2 is 6, 6, 1 is 6. Now we multiply these two. 5, 1 is 5 plus 2 1s are 2. Now we can add 5 plus 2, 7 upon 6. I don't think so you need to divide this because some of many of you can wait mentally. 6 goes to 7 on 10, 6 1s are 6, 7. What is the remainder? 1 upon 6. Did you understand? Some of you have understood. But now let's do the other sum. So what should we do first? When to add this, these fractions, 2 upon 4 plus 7 upon 8, the denominators are different. So we must find the LCM 4 and 8, 4, 8. Which prime number can we use? 2. 2, 2 is 2, 4 is 2, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 1, 2, so 2, 8, 2, 2, 8, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 2, 8, what is the answer? 8, okay, so we draw a line, write 8 here, here, in the middle, good, so 4 goes to 8, how many times, 4, 2, 8, 8 goes to 8, how many times, 8, 1's are 8. Now we multiply these two. 2 2's two are 4 plus 7 1's are 7. Now what should we do? We must add these two. 4 plus 7, 11 upon 8. Now let's do it mentally because it's a small sum. 8 goes to 11 how many times? 8. 1's are 8, 9, 10, 11. What is the remainder? 3. 3 upon 8. Let's see. For some of you, it may be puzzling. So let's see. Let's divide 11 by 8. 8 ones are 8. 11 minus 8, 3. So see, 1, 3 upon 8. 8 goes to 11. 1 time, 8 ones are 8. 9, 10, 11, 3 upon 8. So we've got another fraction. 6 upon 9 plus 4 upon 6. So what do you have?
have to do 10 yards straight away? No. Very good. We have to find the LCM of 6 and 9. 6 and 9. I'm putting a smaller number in front. Okay, 2. 2 goes into 600 times? 3 times. Will 2 go to 9? No. Bring down 9. 3. 1 down. Will 3 go to 9? Yes. 3 and 3 down. And 3 1 down. So, the prime factors are 2 into 3 into 3. So let's multiply this. 2 3 is 6. 6 3 is 18. So what is the LCM of 9 and 6? Very good. 18. 9 goes into 18 number of times. 9 2 is 18. 6 goes into 18 number of times. Very good. 3 times. Now what should we do? We should multiply this two. 6 2 is 12. Plus 3 4 is 12. Okay. 2 6 is 12. 3 4 is 12. 12 plus 12. 24 upon 18. If we know how to reduce, we can reduce. But if you don't know how to reduce, do not reduce. So let me do two ways. Okay. Some of you may know how to reduce, some of you may not know. So, you can go to the rough column straight away, divided by 18. 18 ones are 18, 18 ones are 36. So, 1, 18 ones are 18. 14 minus 8, 6. So, you have an answer 1, 6 upon 18. You can reduce here also. But, because we are just starting to do these sums, to LCM, it may be puzzling for you. So we want to do this step. But if you know how to do it, you can do this. Which number goes to 24 and 18? 6. 6, 4 is up. 6, 3 is up. So you get a new number. 3 goes into 4 how many times? 3. 1 is up. 3 plus 1, 4. 1. One, three. Okay? This is a new answer. Don't, don't worry. This answer and this answer is the same. It's not different. For those who cannot do mentally, you can go to the rough column and divide. Now, let's see if we have the same answer. Six, one plus six. Six, three is at eighteen. See? One, one upon three. We got the same answer. So, don't worry. If you don't know how to reduce, you don't have to leave it like this. Because you are just learning and if you do a lot in one sum, many of you will be puzzled. So let's do some more sums. Remember that when we do more sums means the more we understand. Okay? So only two more sums. 7 upon 8 plus 14 upon 16. Let's do another one, simple one. 4 upon 5 plus 2 upon 3. So, dear children, are the denominators the same? No, they are not the same. They are different. So, if the denominators are different, what should we do? Find LCM. Of which number? 8 and 16. Which number goes into 8 and 16? 2. 2 4s are 2 8s are 2 2s two are 2 4s are 2 1s are 2 2 are and 2 1s are. So the prime factors are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Let's multiply this. 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are 16. So the LCM of 8 and 16 is 16. Draw a line at 16. 8 goes into 16 how many times? 8. 2 is 16. 16 goes into 16 how many times? 16 1 is So let's add these two. 7 2 is 14. Plus 41 is 14. Now you add these two. 14 plus 14, 28 upon 16. This can be reduced, but because we are doing it for the first time, let's not reduce. Let's make it easier. 
just divide. Divide 28 divided by 16. 28 ones are uh, 16 ones are 16. So you have 12 remainder. So 16 will go into 28 one time, leaving a remainder of 12 and 6. Okay? So 16 ones are 16 plus 12, 28. That's our answer. If you want to reduce here, you can reduce. Which number goes into 12 and 16? 4. 4 threes are Four fours, and you got a new fraction one three upon four. But the value of both these sums are equal. If you don't want to reduce, don't reduce. Okay, you can reduce later on. So, what is the next thing that we have to do here? Four upon five plus two upon three. What should we do? Very good. We must find LCM. LCM of which number? 4 and 2 or 5 and 3? Very good. 5 and 3. So let's put the smaller number. 3 and 5. 3 ones are... Will 3 go to 5? No. Bring down 5 and 5. 1. 3 into 5. What is the LCM of 5 and 3? 3 fives are 15. So let's draw a line. Let's put 15. 5 goes into 15. 5 1 the 5, 5 2 the 10, 5, 3 is a 15. 3 1 the 3, 3 2 the 6, 6 is a 9, 3 4 the 12, 3, 5 is a 15. Now multiply these two, 3 4 the 12 plus 2 5 is a 10. Okay? 12 plus 10, 22 upon 15. This is an improper fraction, so we have to convert into a mixed number. 15 ones are 15. 7 is the remainder. 15 goes to 22, 1 times 7 upon 15. So I hope, dear children, you have understood. If you haven't understood, really look at the video, but please watch the video so that you can understand better. Okay? So these same sums will be given to you later on. Try and understand and do it in your exercise book. So till next time, see you and bye.